All right, good afternoon, guys. Today's video, we find ourselves over here in Tonbury. We're across the river from the main part of Bangkok. We're at Wat Pichaya Yatekaram Wariham, something like that. Anyway, this is an ancient temple that nobody really knows when it was constructed, but it was deserted and a guy came over here and he reconstructed it. And this was in like the 1820s, 18, about 1829 to 1832. Samde Chao Prararaya Borom Rama Pichayat, also known as Tat Bunyak. So anyway, he restored this temple and he wanted it to be a royal temple and he uh, donated it to King Rama III. And uh, the king named it Wat Praraya Yatakaram. And then Rama IV, the successor to Rama III, he came here and he renamed his temple Wat Piaya Yatakaram. And the villagers around the area just called it Wat Pichayat. And it was promoted to a minor royal temple and it was given the name uh, at the end, the Wariham. So uh, anyway, it's a humongous long name and it has many names and it's always confusing because in Thailand they give it these names, they give it that name and uh, it changes depending on uh, the flavor of the, the king or whoever. So anyway, this is known as one of the most beautiful temples in Bangkok or the Bangkok area. It's in Tonbury, which is across the river, the former capital before uh, Rama I moved the, the capital to Bangkok. So we're going to look at it and uh, see what we can see. There's a 42 meter tall chedi, there's four Buddha footprints, has a lot of Chinese influence and uh, should be pretty fun. So uh, let's see what, what the temple holds. Just outside of the wall is the bell tower. And they got a gate on the bottom so you can't go up into the bell tower. And it's just outside of the low wall of the so temple. So this is the area around the temple. And it's right here on a Klong. And over there is what they call the companion temple. It was a temple built by uh, that Bonrak's wife. And uh, it's built as, like, you know, she built it near this one here. Now this is That Bonrak, and I'm not gonna say his name again. They have his uh, statue right out here in front. And then they have the two companion chetties when you first come in the, the gate. And here's the temple gate. And it looks like they still have the colors up for Mother's Day, which was last month. They have a, a poster over there of the queen. Yeah, August 12th, is uh, Mother's Day in Thailand and the Queen's colors is that blue. So you always see that light blue for uh, Mother's Day. But this is the temple. So how spectacular is that? That is amazing. So the, the prong you can see is 42 meters tall. And then here is the ordination hall. And it has like a little, like a little porch on the front that has um, like a little Buddha, some other stuff. And there's Chinese stuff all around. Now let's look here, we have matching chetties. So these are the, the two chetties. And this one here is, oddly enough, is the silver chetty and it's in Thai. But you can see the silver Buddha here. and they're facing each other. So this one here is the silver one and it's in this little alcove and people come here and they make merit right here at the base of it. And facing it, right above it is some more Thai, is the, the gold Buddha. So the gold and the silver. So it's the same way here, that Buddha is facing the other one. And the same, you have the little prayer there and the Thais come over here and make merit. Okay, so we saw the the gold and the silver chetties. Now let's go in here and see this ordination hall. Now there's some Chinese stuff all around it. You can see here is the dragon. Now I don't know what this exactly is for, but it has like the ball in his mouth. And then there's uh, the guy standing next to the, the front. And then this one over here also has the ball in his mouth. And it's quite nice. They got stuff like this. You got the lilies around. 
you have the goddess of the earth over here, a little shrine to, to her, uh, Buddha's here. And then there's around the courtyard, around some of the walls, they have some of the Buddha images and stuff. Okay, so this is the ordination hall. Let's go in here and see, uh, see what it looks like. Since it is a Buddhist temple, you got to uh, take off your shoes when you come in. Now you look here, you see the doors is all the, the hand painted all around. I need to climb up a little threshold. And then here is a, uh, a Buddha. And they come and they put the, the gold leaf on it. And there's some people over here making merit. And then they have just different stuff all around in here. And then you have the threshold over here. And then this looks like where the, uh, the head monk used to sit. And they got a picture of him. Oh, that's that, uh, the guy that built the temple. Now, he was a prosperous businessman. And the reason you see so much Chinese stuff is he did uh, trade with the Chinese. And then uh, he was good friends with uh, Rama III. You can see these are the, uh, the Simas, which is the, uh, the little marker stones that go around the temple, around the ordination hall. And then you can see how they painted the, the columns here. So it has the, uh, like the Chinese stuff on it. Oh, very nice. And these are some of the antique cabinets. So since this was a royal hall, they uh, have the three doors. So the center door would have been reserved for the king probably. And then you got the high threshold to come in. And then here is this hall. So they have like the flowers and stuff painted on all the walls. It's kind of dark in here. But it's quite nice though. There's people in here meditating. You can see the hand painted door. And it's Ayutthaya style with the columns on the inside here to support the roof. And then you can see the Buddha. And everybody's here on the floor making merit and praying and meditating and stuff. But the Buddha itself is uh, Sukhothai style. It's pretty nice, it has all the normal stuff that you see. And you can see how they got the ceiling painted. And they have some of the stuff over the windows and the heavy wooden shutters, all of that. And this leads you out of the back. They got a light on over here by the Buddha. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so let's look up at the back and then we'll walk over to that prong. So you can see the little courtyard here. There's the uh, marker stones. And then out there is the bell tower. And then the low wall, the outer wall of the temple with some of the gates. And then some more of the temple buildings over there. Now those are monk quarters. This is an active temple. So the monks here at this temple basically stay in what is like, a, uh, like an apartment building. Okay, so we can see the outside of this. You can see how they have the, the gable decorated. And then it has these marble looking columns on the outside. A lot of times they'll be all white, like the plaster will be all the way up them. But these, they just left the marble. And then you can see the support beams and stuff that come out of the building. But we're on our way over here to see this prong. That's the objective. This is nice. This is quite a, a brilliant little temple. I don't know if it's the most beautiful, but I think it's, it's nice. I think the, uh, the prong would look spectacular lit up at night. I've seen some pictures of it and it looks pretty cool. Now they have uh, like this open area here that has like a little moon drop and we'll see it here to see. And this is the little moon drop. And they have this also that will be lit up. They light it up with uh, like pink lighting. And then over here they have the normal statues that you see. So it has uh, Taxon and King Narai on the left, Taxon's in the middle, and then it has Rama 4 
over there. And then around this little moon drop, they have all the seated Buddhas. And then they have some uh, general purpose halls over there. And then we can see the chetties. So there's two small chetties. The one on the right over here has the Buddha footprints. It has four different Buddha footprints. And then the one on the left over here has like a Buddha image in it. Now inside of this chetty or this prong, you can see how tall it is. It's 42 meters tall. So the ashes of the guy that renovated this temple in the 1820s, his ashes are in here as well as some of his family members. And it's got a little stairwell. You can't get all the way up there. It has like little windows and stuff, but there's no way up. You could just go up to this level here where you can see the gold door. Now the stairs are quite steep to get up into it. And it has a little walkway here that if you want, you can, uh, you can go around the prong. All right, so here we are. This is the doorway to it. And it's just massive. Looks like it's starting to get a, like the plaster and stuff is kind of flaking off a little bit, but it's not too bad. Then it has the plaque over here. It's in Thai, but it's the, uh, I believe that's the, the name of the, the guy that's buried in here, or his ashes are. So this has the four Buddhas facing the four directions. And the Thais will come here and they'll make merit and uh, the normal stuff. This is quite nice. It has the smell a little bit of guano. Okay, so they do have access up there, but the monks and stuff, you'd have to climb those ladders to get up there. And it looks like they have little alcoves up there. I can see like a Buddha image and stuff. And at one time they had Buddhas probably in all these that are screened off. But I can see the back of the head of one of the Buddhas up there. Okay, so let's go look at the Buddha footprint. Yeah, it has a serious strong smell of, of guano. So the bats can come in here and they nest at night. So this is uh, the right chetty. And you can see it has the, the gold and stuff around. And then that's looking off to the, I believe that's the south over there. So some more stairs to get up. Yeah, this temple is not handicap accessible. All right, so here are the Buddha footprints. Now this is quite cool. It has like, you can go around. It has like these little doors that go. So you could circle around on the inside <laughs> to come over here. There you go. Oh, that's cool. So you can see here the Buddha footprint over to the four Buddhas in the middle. So this is the view you have from up here in this little chetty. This is the main temple grounds. Over there's that little moon drop, the bell tower, the two chetties at the front. And as you can see, all around it are buildings. And then over there, that's the Turtle Mountain Temple. That's right on the Chow Praya River. That one was built by Rama IV. And then there's a, that other temple over there with the purple roof. And the Chow Praya is just, I don't know, it's probably two or 300 meters away from here. Okay, this is the little chetty that's on the left, and it will have a gold Buddha. Now right over here, they're building some new buildings over here. So probably after they get all that built, they'll come over here and they'll start refurbishing this temple. It's starting to really need it. You can see how some of it's flaking off and a lot of the cracks and stuff and, and all of this. So here is the Chetty, or the Buddha, I mean. You can see it has the one here with the Naga around it. Yeah, this is really nice. And one more look here at the temple grounds. You can see they decorated the front of these the same as that ordination hall. That's pretty cool. Now, how would you like this job? There's a rope ladder right here. It goes all the way up to the top of that. So if you have to get up there to to fix something, that's how you get up there. Now, right here on the back, you can see they have the little giants and they have detail work all around the top of this also. But right here behind, you can see there's one more little chetty over here. And it's the same style as this one. Now those two chetties at the front, 
they are resembling the one from uh, the Kom Si Tamarat, the, the really famous royal temple that's down there. All right, everybody, so that finishes up our little tour here at this temple. This is kind of a little hidden gem over here in Tonbury. It's, uh, it's quite beautiful. They're, uh, they're not exaggerating too much whenever they say that this is the most beautiful temple that you'll see over here in Tonbury. The prongs are quite nice. The, that uh, ordination hall is really spectacular. The details about when this temple was first built, nobody knows. They just know that it was restored in the 1820s and then it be was donated to Rama III to become a royal temple. So uh, anyway, I would recommend if you have uh, a little bit of time and you want to come over here, this temple is definitely worth, you know, 30 minutes to an hour of your time to come over here and explore. Just look around. The Chinese influence is really quite cool. So uh, anyway, if you like this video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, this is the kind of stuff I do. I go and show you things that most people aren't doing. This temple is off the tourist trail. Not too many tourists are coming over here. I've kind of been wandering around. I mean, there's, there's ties here making merit and stuff like that, but there's not a, this isn't a tourist stop. So if you like stuff like this, you know, you found the right place, you know, stay on my channel. I uh, show you content like this as much as I can. And uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you would like to come here or if you have any questions about it. Sometimes when I'm talking, I forget to say some things. Believe it or not, I, uh, I talk a lot, but I don't, uh, I don't always say what I'm thinking. So anyway, leave me a comment, uh, ask me any questions. I'll be happy to try to answer it the best I can. And so until next time, guys, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy.